My name is Allison Bennett and I'll be your host for this segment. Today, we are talking about leadership and more importantly, leadership in the community. Our guest is Michael Brandt and he is the Executive Director of Oregon City Chamber of Commerce. Michael, great to see you today. Thanks for having me, Allison. I'm glad to be here. I'm really excited about this program that you have coming up. Please tell us more about it. Well, it's called Next Leaders of Oregon City, mm -hmm. and it's designed to kind of foster and encourage the next generation of leadership that can impact and help, tr help Oregon City navigate the kind of growth and change that's taking part. So there is a lot of growth and change coming up in the future for Oregon City, is that right? Well, yeah, you think about it, just 10 or 15 years ago, Oregon City was a blue collar town mm -hmm. on the edge of the metro area. Now we're definitely part of the metro area and we're transforming into an area where creatives want to live. Oh. We're seeing housing development all over. So this yeah. is going to change the nature of the city. And what we need to do is prepare the next generation of leaders to, to help guide that, that change, that transformation. So is that how this idea of this next leadership program came about, or is there something else in, in addition? Well, within the Chamber of Commerce, it, it's one of our parts of our mission, mm -hmm. is really to make this a great place to live and do business. So it is, really has become part of our mission to help foster that next generation of leadership, and we're going to be doing that through the Next Leaders program. And tell me, how does that work? Like, wh how, what does that look like? Okay. Well, it's a cohort-based program mm -hmm. where... Once a month for nine months, uh -huh. you will spend an entire day with your cohort, and each day is built around a different part of Oregon City. So there's one, there's an education day, uh -huh. there's a history day, there's an economy day, government day, so that the people get involved in, in understanding all the different parts that make a community work. Yeah. So, so there's an education day, mm -hmm. uh, one day a month, and then what else is there? Okay, well, it, it, there's, there's one day a month, right? But we also get into, there, there's really three, three benefits that oh, people great. get out of here. One is developing their own personal leadership skills. And we do that by working with well, asset-based models, basically trying to draw out, okay, where, what are your world-class assets? Because that's the, the biggest impact you're going to have on Oregon City when you're working with those world-class assets. So we do that kind of leadership development, leadership awareness. We do the strategic awareness. So you, you have to understand all these different parts and how they work together, which is why we have you know, a program day around education, mm -hmm. a program day around economy, a program day around environment. Mm -hmm. You have to understand how those things interact so that you know, it, it's like a, a mobile, right? Anytime you touch one part of the mobile, the other parts move. Right. Unless you're understanding an entire mobile, you're not going to be as an effective leader. And then the third part of it is to build a network. So you're going through the, the, the nine months with this cohort, and you will build long-lasting relationships, long-lasting friendships. And that will help you, propel you in, in the future. It also gives you a base to work from as you take on new challenges in helping guide Oregon City in the next decade or two. So as a cohort, you're going to be learning um, about different parts of mm -hmm. city and city government. And what else are you doing? How are you working together? Okay, so it's not just about education, but it's also really hands-on engagement. Mm -hmm. you know, so it's, it's trying to identify what are the big issues. Mm -hmm. So let's say if when we look at uh, K-12 education, mm -hmm. that we have a big issue with funding in the state. Mm -hmm. okay? So it, what happens if we no longer can rely upon Salem for the resources necessary to educate our youth, mm -hmm. what, what do we do? And there's a, there's a question. What do you do? I don't know. <laughs> Is that <laughs> but what that's, th that's what the next leaders are going to oh, figure out. Oh, I love that. Right? So, and then we think about just things like with the, the changing nature of people wanting to move here, it's creating a lot of pressure on housing prices, mm -hmm. which now are starting to push out a lot of our entry level and, and um, people in the middle and lower income classes. Okay, what's that mean for the city? What's that mean for some of our service-oriented business? These are questions that you really need to grapple with if you're going to be a really effective leader for the future. Well, these are great questions, and I like the fact that you're going to be working with lots of different people coming mm -hmm. from different points of view, kind of pulling a, a melting pot in a way so yeah. that you can come up with the best possibilities for the future. That's what I hear you're doing. That is fantastic. So 
What kind of people are you looking for to come and be a part of this? Great. So that really, this program works well for three different types of people. Okay. One are people who are new to Oregon City, who've right. just moved here, whether from the Portland metro area or from out of town, mm -hmm. and needing to build a network or build awareness quickly. Mm -hmm. There are, you would call your mid-career professionals mm -hmm. who are doing well, but really aspire to top leadership, whether that's in their company, whether that's in government, running for office, uh -huh. maybe it's about sitting on a board of a nonprofit. They want to step up. Right. Yeah. And then there are those who actually need to, to develop more of that personal and professional network. You know, so they, they need an opportunity to connect one-to-one -one with people, which you will do as a group as you go through this over the nine months. You build long-term, lasting friendships which I can attest to because I've been involved one 25 years ago, and probably there's probably three of those people in that group who I still count as my really closest friends. Yeah. I know one of the difficulties of moving into a new community, or at least mm -hmm. moving up into a community, is getting those great connections in yeah. today's day and yeah. age. This sounds like a fantastic opportunity. Sure. Now, it's one day a month. Is that mm -hmm. on a weekend or a weekday? Or It is the second Wednesday of each month, starting in September, okay. running through until May. Yeah. So if I work for an employer, mm -hmm. what benefit is it to the employer to allow me to take that day off? Mm -hmm. to come oh, and be a part that's of it. a great question so you're looking at like okay how what kind of what how can I take this really good employee that I have right. and and make them great love that. make them a lot more valuable to my company in addition to having a greater impact in the community so what you're doing when you when you nurture your own employees to take bigger leadership in the community mm -hmm. is that you're, ingrained, you're, you're taking your company and even weaving it tighter into the fabric of Oregon City, which you know, it improves your employees' morale, yep. it employs your, uh, your, social, your social responsibility, mm -hmm. and actually elevates your profile for your company. And yeah. it's not going to take all my time, right? I, well, it's not going to take all your time, no. <laughs> <laughs> you, have to, you have to get work done, right? Oh, okay. like, yeah, you know, and you have live, people have lives to live. So, exactly. You know, but the idea is that one day, you, you dedicate one day a month. Right. Uh, there's another component to it where we're I'm going to encourage people to, as they develop their leadership mm -hmm. talents and get a better understanding of their assets, then they can start talk, thinking about their passion. What, which one of these areas? Is it, is it housing? Is it transportation? Is it um, higher education? Mm -hmm. And can I design some kind of project around that with some of my other cohorts to have some impact? Now, yeah. that sounds exciting. I know yeah. I'm a project-based person. And mm -hmm. as you said before, I have made some of my best and closest friendships sure. working on a project together. Sure. And then I've learned a lot. And then I've grown a lot in leadership. So the personal benefit is also not only becoming a better leader, but also becoming a better communicator and person to work with other people even better. Is that correct? Sure. And then you have something also tangible to point to at the I end. Like, hey, okay, I worked on that. I worked on it. Yeah. Yep. That is so exciting. Mm -hmm. Now, if people are interested in becoming a part of this, this cohort, this learning experience over nine months, mm -hmm. what, what's the process for that? Okay. So the process, it, you have to be invited in, so which means you have to first to apply. Okay. Right? And, and you can do it. You can apply through the chamber. Um, and what are you looking for it's all in a person? We're, we're looking for people who have a hunger for something more in their lives. Yes. Right? That, that thinking like, okay, I'm doing good. I really want, I think I can excel. You know, I think I can go higher. Mm -hmm. And so we, we do the application process, we do the interview process, and then you'll be invited into the cohort. Yeah. That sounds exciting. Now, when does the cohort start and when does it end? Okay. Begins um, actually September 12th, the second Wednesday okay. of September. Fantastic. Runs through the second Wednesday of May. Mm -hmm. you know? And then actually after that, then there's a graduation dinner that we do. We're gonna be, it's going to be a big community event with a lot of our current leaders there welcoming, this, welcoming you and that next group into like, okay, now you're one of us, man. Now you, now you get to sit at the adult table now. <laughs> you know? so, I so, love that. Yeah. So I, I hope you have room for several people because I think after this interview, lots of people are going to be excited <laughs> about being a part of this. Yeah. Yeah. And is there, is there a website or is there something that people can um, quickly grab a pen and jot down a phone number or a website so they can easily contact you? 
OregonCity.org, that is the Chamber website, mm -hmm. and you'll find all the information there. Um, easy enough to do, the application is there. It's a really short application. Throw yourself in, and then I, I will be giving you a call. I yeah. love that. And yeah. is there any last minute comments that you want to say, or nuggets that you want to give us? You know, people ask me all the time, like, okay, where does this come from? Why, why are these leadership programs, there are leadership programs all across the mm -hmm. country. And, and where they came from actually generated is in Atlanta. Back in the 1960s, Air France opened up a direct route between Paris and Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And so the city leaders went on this business junket to Paris, but on the way back, the plane crashed. And all of a sudden, Atlanta lost all this level of top leadership. And so it, they understood like, wow, we have done nothing to groom the next generation. So if you think about it, like if a meteor hits Oregon City tomorrow, and wipes out most of our leaders in government and right. business leaders right. and the nonprofit leaders, who's ready to take over? And, you know, and that's why this program is so important. And that's the, that's the potential you have, and that's why we call it the next leaders. You, know, you are going to be the next leaders of Oregon City. And you'll be well prepared to be the next leader. You'll be well prepared, yeah. I love that. Yep. Thank you so much for being here today, and I hope you are as excited as I am about the Next Leaders program. From Allison Bennett, have a great day.